Hello everyone! Greetings from sunny Kerpen in Germany. My name is Svetlana Mucha and I am the leading matchmaker and dating coach at Diola.com. And today I continue discussing your comments and questions that you leave below our videos. And I have selected a very important uh, comment that I believe is definitely worth our attention. Because uh, I have no doubt that this topic is important for many gentlemen. So I will read you this comment. The gentleman writes, I have a friend who only dated his age. It cost him his own children. I have other male friends who married single mothers and regretted not having their own kids. It just depends on where the man is and his values. So the gentleman who has left uh, this comment, he is in his late 40s or early 50s. I actually don't remember how old are you since it has been so many months and years since you are watching our channel and we know each other well online basically and I want to address your comment I can give you lots of examples when our male clients have married single mothers for example a lady already had one kid from her first marriage or even two kids and later on in uh, their relationship with our male clients after they got married they had two three even four more kids together i can give you multiple examples like that uh, i can give you lots of examples when for example a gentleman in his late 30s or early 40s uh, has married a lady in her late 30s early 40s and they had kids together so no, it has nothing to do uh, with the fact that she already has a child. We don't know a situation of uh, your friends and their families. We can only assume, because only two people that uh, have created uh, a relationship, a family, they know what's really going on. Uh, perhaps your male friends, uh, when they have started dating, they are now wives. Uh, they were not thinking about the idea of having their own kids. Uh, or perhaps they haven't discussed it with their best halves. They have assumed that just because this lady is a mother, she definitely wants to have more children. It is important to be looking for someone who shares your long-term goals, who shares your values, who is on the same page with you about all the important things, like uh, the desire to have more children, timing, when do you want to have these kids, next three years, next five years, next 10 years. Usually when I conduct first interviews with uh, potential clients, both male and female, I always ask them, do you want to have children or more children? And you know what? You can tell a lot by actually listening to the answers that uh, the lady or gentleman is giving you. Sometimes ladies tell me something like, mm, I'm not sure, right now I'm finishing my PhD and then I've got this contract and uh, I hope to go teaching to Italy. Maybe eventually with the right guy I will be willing to have more kids, like who knows. And you can tell from the very beginning that she is kind of indecisive, but sometimes I'm interviewing a lady and she's telling me that, you know what, for me, a family is a real family only when they are kids. So yes, uh, I want to get married, for example, for a second time, and I definitely want to have children, and I want to have them within the next five years. And you can tell that this is a priority for this lady. Uh, of course, not all ladies who already have kids will be willing to have more children. Sometimes I'm talking to ladies and she's telling that, no, I don't want to have more kids because my kids are almost out of a house and I want to finally have time to build a romantic relationship, to devote all my energy, all my heart to this new relationship, to my new partner. I want to travel, I want to learn Spanish, etc. So different people have different visions how it should be. Nobody knows what has happened with your friends. Perhaps they didn't bother to discuss these important topics when they were marrying those women. Sometimes men think, okay, uh, she is of the right age. I love her looks. She is so gorgeous. And she has a PhD. And uh, she has this easygoing personality. She is kind, sweet. So for sure she will be willing uh, to have babies. Uh, for sure she wants similar things that I do. So such men and sometimes women, they assume or they think that their partner will change. Okay, she definitely will change for me because, wow, she is perfect, the right age group, uh, 
perfect looks, uh, perfect uh, background, like perfect pedigree. So for sure, this perfect woman will be willing to have same scenes that I want to have. Or if she doesn't, she will change. I can give you another example. Uh, I remember I was talking to this uh, gentleman and he was giving me like a long list of qualities uh, he wanted to see in a lady like she has to have a university degree speak english french her parents have to also be highly educated and speak multiple languages uh, because he wanted to have kids and he wanted uh, these kids to be very smart and this lady she has to be this that she has to look like a victoria's secret model and yes she has to be a stay-at-home mom and then i'm asking him but a person who has worked so hard to achieve all those degrees to travel the world why would she be willing to just stay at home uh, there is nothing wrong with being a stay-at-home mom and i know women who are looking for this type of future because for example their mothers have been stay-at-home mothers while uh, a father was a breadwinner while a father was supporting the whole, whole family so this is her perfect idea of uh, gender roles in the family these are her values uh, but some women see it in a different way they uh, believe that uh, a family not necessarily includes kids so the fact that your friends uh, are unhappy now in their marriages has nothing to do with the fact that they have married single mothers they have married perhaps a wrong person if uh, these women do not uh, want to have children for example a gentleman wants to have children then they have a problem but who knows perhaps when your friend was courting that lady he was also not thinking about having kids he was not thinking about what he really wants and needs he has uh, liked a woman and he didn't bother to actually dig deeper to find out if uh, they are on the same page about all the important things and you know what sometimes after 10 15 years people change their desires and uh, they understand that what uh, they claimed they wanted and what they claimed uh, they need is not something they really want or really need anymore so you never know of course i can't encourage a gentleman who is for example 32 to date and to marry a single mother if a gentleman is never married and has no kids of his own because well there will be plenty of ladies in their 20s early 30s uh, who would be looking for his type and who also have never been married and who don't have kids and who want to have these kids in a relationship that they will build in a new marriage but if we are talking about a gentleman who is in his late 40s early 50s well chances are very high that women that will find you attractive uh, they already had experience in relationship because uh, when you're like 48 or 50 to expect to uh, find and to marry a blushing 19 years old virgin that's naive because like ladies in their 20s they wouldn't be looking for your type unless you are like a jared letter and ladies in their 30s early 40s chances are quite high that uh, they already have been married and you know what for many of our clients who have married single mothers for example if a gentleman is 48 and he has never been married and he doesn't actually have this experience of building a relationship uh, of living with the woman for him uh, the fact that she has been married and she is the mother well it's actually beneficial because her experience will be useful for both of them or she will actually teach him uh, a lot about relationship about family life so he can actually benefit from this experience of course uh, one can claim that uh, well if i'm dating a single mother i have to take care of her kid situations are different but of course uh, like usually if uh, a lady has been married and she has a kid then that's a package deal uh, there is a saying that uh, people love kids uh, uh, from uh, beloved women uh, and when you love a woman yes uh, her children her kid it is part of the deal it is part of who she is and also when you see a single mother you can see how she interacts with uh, her child and you can uh, actually tell what type of a mother she is many men assume that all women are natural mothers guys no i have met many single mothers who are terrible mothers and uh, 
I look at them and uh, I just can't understand how come they have kids. So uh, regarding this comment, if you want to have children, uh, you shouldn't cross a possibility uh, of dating a single mother out. Uh, you shouldn't be afraid of it, especially if you represent a certain age group. When you are in your 20s, early 30s, there will be plenty of people uh, who will be looking for you who are in the same situation. When you are 48 to concentrate only on ladies who do not have children of their own, there will be plenty of ladies in their middle 30s up till late 30s who are single uh, for very specific reasons, because they have totally unrealistic expectations about relationship, about gender roles. Uh, they have unrealistically high expectations regarding their life partners. They are immature. They have other priorities. Uh, they don't want to get married. They don't want to have kids. So there can be many, many scenarios. Guys, I hope it was useful. Please don't forget to press like to this video and to share your thoughts in the comments below. I am always really happy to get your feedback. I want to wish you lots of love, Svetlana Mucha, especially from Kerpen, Deutschland, with love.